What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies 2, and guess what, there's a brand new season in Battles Mode, it's called Solar Season, because there's the brand new Enlightenment available for earning through the Battles Mode. Now I'm a little torn on the earning method for this mint, because all other mints were earned by using the the the, the mints. <laughs> all their mints were used by, by spending the mints that you gain from Battles Mode and other things, and so uh, this is the first mint that they've released where you, you can't purchase it using the mints and so I have 572 mints what do I do with them well I guess I'm gonna have to spend them on, on old mints upgrading them uh, for now it doesn't look like there's a way to do that let me just double check though as we go in to the almanac I want to read about the enlightenment before we uh, continue on today uh, the enlightenment is right here uh, and you can't you gotta get 100 seed packets you can't just spend the mints to get them but hey that's okay enlightenments give a burst of sun when planted and provide an additional temporary boost to enlightenment family plants uh, which include all, all the sun producing plants basically enlightenment wants to stress that while enlightenment is properly understood as full comprehension of a situation she herself frequently likes to ask follow-up questions just to be sure <laughs> so collect 100 seed packets to unlock well we're gonna do it through, through battles mode but we do get to have a practice the practice is important right Practice makes perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to try Enlightenment for free and see exactly how it works out. And then this season lasts all month, pretty much, we, you know, and that's going to be awesome. So let's see what we got, huh? Power Mr. are powerful. We knew that. <laughs> so let's see what happens when we use Enlightenments on these things. Uh, they already picked our plants for us, so let's, let's rock. I don't think I can cancel those. Nope, let's rock. Here we go. Why would I want to? Anyway, so... Let's just start off Enlightenment. What happens? Sun is produced from the Enlightenment itself. Not that much. And I guess it just kind of powers up the rest. Whoa, that's nice. So that's kind of cool. If you already have a bunch of sun producing plants out there, that can make sense. I do wonder if, uh, the, th the problem is I like to use Moonflower a lot. So I don't know what Moonflower, you know, I don't know if it's going to be the same th type of situation. I don't think Moonflower is an Enlightenment family plant, so. Let's stun him, though. See what happens, right? I'm just going to put down as much sun as possible. Here we go. Nicely done. Boom. Stunned. I mean, we're we're getting a lot of a lot of sun from this. There we go. Nicely done. We're about to have another enlightenment, so there we go. Uh oh, uh oh. Here we go. Whoa. Nice. I just want to see what happens. We have two columns of these sunflowers. Get ready for it. I'm gonna put down two more toads, one more toadstool now. All right, here we go. Enlightenment. So a little tiny sun comes out of there. And then now everything's powered up. These toadstools are going faster than ever. And then a ton of sun drops out. Very cool. All right. Okay, I see what's going on. Not sure how thrilled I am. I, I don't know if I would rather be, I would rather have an offensive mint plant than just something that produces sun because I'm usually pretty good on sun production but we'll see how this goes you know maybe it'll help in battles if the stages are formulated correctly and we might need to use I mean that's gonna be the plant that we have in battles all this week all this month this next month so we'll see how that goes quest complete so we got some mints which we can't use on the enlightenment as far as I'm aware <laughs> at least not yet and then, uh, do we have a do we have a leveled up one? We can try bombardment. Yeah, there we go. Leveled up enlightenment. Let's see what the what the level ten enlightenment is like today. And then we'll go into battles mode and see what battles is like this week. All right. So there are the mushrooms there. That's good. Those are small mushrooms, so they're probably gonna get big, big mushrooms. Oh, we got citron. Citrons aren't enlightenment. Just to double check, the moonflower is not gonna be enlightenment either, is it? No. So yeah, we kind of expected that, but anyway, that's okay. Let's uh let's put out some more of these real quick. These things are usually pretty pretty quick and easy. Let's just drop it out. Here we go. They're growing, they're growing big. Now I love that. I do like how they Oh my gosh, that's so many sun. 
Okay, well, that was a lot of sun production right there. We're like 2,000 something. This is boosted, so that's kind of funny. I do wonder what happens if I put the this thing over here. This is boosted, so... There we go. I mean, we're not going to have any problems with this stage, but let's get another enlightenment out here. Here we go. What happens with those beans? Does anything happen with those beans? A ridiculous amount of sun is produced. Like, just a really ridiculous amount. Here, let's do it. What happens if we just drop in, like, so many of these at once? Just curious, there's three enlightenments, like, does it produce even more sun? It looks like the same amount of sun. We're gonna, we, we almost got to 9,000. Okay. <laughs> well, that was pretty incredible. Of course, our boosted Citron uh, helped having that for sure. So we got five extra mints overall total. But we really want to see what the battles mode is like, right? That's what I'm here about. I want to see what the battles mode is like. I want to actually earn enlightenment as part of my permanent repertoire. And we'll do that. Quest complete. Let's go ahead and check this so like next time we check it, it's not like 20 different quests complete that I haven't... Anyway, here we go. Citron. Got it. Nice. And then uh, three mints. Good job. Good job. So yeah, right now the store bombardment is kind of the thing that they're selling, which seems fine. I do kind of want more bombardment, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's here. And so they're not selling the enlightenment through the store like the other mints. The enlightenment for now can only be achieved through battles mode. So we're going to go into battles mode. We're going to see what it's like. We're going we're gonna to see if I have any, any ideas, any strategies uh, that'll work. For battles mode. Why? Okay. It always puts me in adventure mode. Let's go back. Battles mode is what we're talking about. There we go. Battles mode. Enlightenment. Solar season. For the summer solstice. I bet that's why. You know, I bet that's why they planned it. Because the summer solstice just happened. Let's do free play. Let's figure it out. Let's see exactly what's going to happen here. Come on. Load on in. There we go. Okay. So weird. Already weird. Uh, things get pushed down to the bottom to the middle three rows. Are there any... <laughs> okay, so we got enlightenment. Are there any... Oh, man, we have such... Yeah, so we, we really have low sun production. So, interestingly enough, the things that are nerfed uh, this time around, or bruised, I mean, are like things like moonflower, the shadow plants, um, the uh, these things right here, and the time-based plants that slow them down, which would be really helpful. Uh, so to slow down, we're going to want to use ice, and so I'm already thinking in my head that, you know, we're going to want to bring in uh, the mushrooms. It showed us that the mushrooms, you know, you can you can mature those mushrooms really quickly. Uh, we can plant a lot of mushrooms up, up front, then use the enlightenment up front. And then I'm thinking that we're going to want to, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking call a power strategy right now. Because if they're in the, the, the three rows there, we can maybe put something, I don't know what to put there. But if we put call of powers there, they'll all be kind of focused in on those three rows. And I'm thinking that we're going to want a cold snapdragon. But let's imitate the call of power first really quick. I'm thinking cold snapdragon. And then one more. Um, do we need one more? <laughs> do we? I mean, do we? Does it matter? Uh, we could just bring in another mint, I suppose. I'm trying to think what would be really good there. But I don't, I don't really know. I'll try electricity next. That's for sure. Go bloom. That's not an enlightenment family plant. It should be. But I guess what else are you gonna do with it? I'm just, I'm just scrolling through, making sure I'm not missing any ideas for the enlightenment. Okay, let's go. Let's rock. You know how we're gonna start? We're gonna start like this. We're gonna put uh, five of these in the back. Let's rock. We're gonna do uh, enlightenment and go bloom. There we go. And then those are big and ready to go. We don't have any plant food. That's how we're going to slow them down with the cold snapdragon. I can't believe we don't have any plant food. 
I really thought we would have some plant food, but now we got plant food, finally. Oh boy. This is slow. Wow. Alright. Not a huge fan uh, of not having plant food to start us off. There's a whole bunch. All right, goodbye to you, goodbye. Okay, let's see how this strategy continues to go. Not too bad yet, right? This is pretty good. For a call of power strategy, I mean, this is gonna take some time. This is a slow build up, slower than I prefer for a call of power strategy. So let's just see how this happens, how this plays out. All right, there's the plant food. We get a lot of plant food from this. That's good, at least. Like I said, slow build, slow build, but here we go. Lots of extra sun, just in case. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Holy cow. All right, so, you know, 200,000 isn't great. I'm beating my opponent, but it's not great. It's not where I prefer to be. All right, here we go. Yeah, not much time left. Let's, uh, No one's even left to flick away. Yeah, so 333,000, is that good? I don't know yet. I'm gonna try an all electricity strategy and see if that fares any better. It should fare well. And then I'll try to, maybe if, if Blover's allowed, I'll try a Blover strategy, so. Hot date, baby. Explodo nut. And we got 5,000 coins, boom. All right, cool. So, Bronze League Bundle, no thanks. But they're selling electricity right now. It makes me wonder, is electricity a viable strategy? 333K is the score that we gotta beat today. That kinda rhymes. <laughs> so let's see, uh, okay, so I'm gonna do you know, the mints. Whoa, there's a Yeti. Was there a Yeti last time? Anyway, I don't remember. So instead of, uh, you know, same type of strategy, except now I'm gonna be using um, the electric mints with the filaments. So that's fair, right? Fair to me, let's go. Move this away, of course, start with these five here. I think that's the, gonna be the best start that we can do. There we go. Nice start, you gotta love that. Slow them down like so. There we go, you know, I wanna use it on the sun. There we go, that's why, because I want more and more mints. And I'll probably also use it on the filaments too. Yeah, I think that's gonna be viable, here we go. I need more of these mints for real, dude. I mean, more of these, uh, more of these, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. This is what we need in this life. This is good stuff. All right, this is looking pretty good in my opinion. We're at 345 already. Far outbeats the, uh, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> the strategy we just did. And soon we're gonna be out of space. There we go, beautiful. Oh, 
Well, I can't really ask for much better, honestly. This is this is ridiculous. Thirty seconds left. We're probably gonna break a million. Here we go. One point one to one point two million. That's a pretty good strategy, 1.2 million. Let's see if we can do, I mean, I can't imagine doing better, honestly. Cause I mean, my my electricity setup is just supreme right now. And, uh, but I'll try to do better. I mean, you know, using the uh, filaments over and over for me is a great strategy. I could have maybe done a little better on sun production, but that would have meant getting, you know, I could have put more electric piece, you know, let's try that one more time. Let's see if I can be 1.2 million. I am ready to give it my all, which includes, which will include digging up the uh, the uh, the mushrooms at the, at the last bit of it. All right, so here we go. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is a little bit, a little bit much here. Let's just do this. There we go. That's what we want it for, right? Perfect. Here we go. There's the Yeti. Get him out of here, please. The heck, the Yeti's here. He's walking backwards. Don't let him escape. Don't let the Yeti out of here. Got him, I think. No, another one's here. So confused by the Yetis. Yikes. All right, here we go. This is where it's gonna get complicated, I think. All right, now I'm gonna start putting him out like as much as possible. Only 30 seconds, what the heck? All right, so maybe this, maybe there's not a much better way to do it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna score as good this time as I scored before. Yeah, we're, we're gonna score about the same. Yeah, about the same. 1.17 is about the same as 1.2. So, I mean, maybe, I, maybe I've hit a wall, a plateau or whatever with that. So one point, okay. I got it, I got it. All right, we got ancient Egypt pinatas, that's cool. 10 solar tomatoes, 10 twin sunflowers. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, yeah, we got 20 of those. Uh, seed packets. Not quite enough. That's okay. At 150, we'll have enough. That's going to take a while to get to. Probably not this episode, but hey, we'll eventually add it to our permanent repertoire. So the only other thing, I mean, I can't really, like I said, I can't really imagine doing better than that. But the other thing I do want to try is, um, I want to try the, uh, the th a three-peater strategy. That's one strategy I want to try. One of many. No, <laughs> Three Peter strategy is basically what we just what we just saw with the appeasement. 
uh, last episode that worked super well against the zombie boss. So we're talking about bringing in the appeasement here, and then we're talking about bringing in uh, torchwood. Ah, oh, the problem with this one though is that we don't have plant food. So we're talking about, but we will get plant food, and we only need three torch woods, but we'll probably end up, yeah, we'll put, we'll put, we'll put in three. Um, and we've got to be sure. Gosh, this is gonna be this is gonna be an expensive strategy. This may not work. This might be too expensive, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Um, so the three, Peter, where are you at? Probably at the beginning, right? We get that kind of early. Yeah, there it is. And then, oh, squash strategy sounds good too. But hey, we got this, and we we're gonna want to bring in the, the torch wood. I'm nervous about this one. This one may not work. I'm actually nervous about this one. Here we go. This one may not work, but hey, it doesn't really matter. The, the point of my videos is that we try to make uh, a whole bunch of different things happen. And if it works, it's great. And if it doesn't, you know, it's okay. All right, and what I mean by, you know, being nervous about it is, you know, this this is pretty hectic already, but there we go. You know, I really should have used that on something else. I need more money, I need more income. Oh my God. You just burned down a torchwood because you're made of fire? Okay, sure, that makes sense. Here's what I want to do immediately. Please, oh God, he's coming in. I'm just gonna have to do that, sorry. I don't like any of you there, whatever. How did he make it through? Oh my God, that's how he made it through. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, don't eat those, thank you. All right, sure. Yeah, this is a little nerve-wracking. I'm doing better than the 300,000. The uh, obviously the uh, the color power strategy is just a no-go for me. That's just is not going to work. All right, we're about ready to start doing the appeasements over and over. These guys are just walking across Thirty seconds later. It actually isn't too bad of a strategy, honestly, but I don't understand how those one guys are just walking through that. I mean, you know, 800,000, 900,000. It's not actually that far off from a 1.2. It was 300,000 off. So it's not a terrible strategy, but I mean, that's also a strategy that's hard to manage simply due to the sun. If I probably focused just on sun at the beginning, it would do a lot better, but I don't know. Another thing I want to try, if it lets me, Blover. Blover, Primal Pea Shooter strategy. If it lets me. You know, anything where I can just uh, kind of push them away. <laughs> Would be really nice, but let's see how this ends up working. Again, part of the strategy is that these guys are coming out immediately. And this is going to be hard to pull off. So we want uh, Primal Pea Shooter. We want Blover. Oh, but no, this is bruised. That's not going to work. So never mind. Blover. We don't want to do Blover anymore. <laughs> I don't, at least. Um, so let me think for a second. You, you know, one thing that we learned... What if, what if we do genuinely just focus on sun production type type things uh i know that the uh the, that we were looking at having um you know solar tomatoes what else do we want to try though is there anything else that, we're, that i'm missing any ideas that i'm missing here i would try a dust labber strategy except the shadow plants are nerfed bruised um and the same thing with the uh, Shadow Pea Shooter. I would try that too. But they're bruised. So I'm taking a look at it like this. I, uh...
There might stand a chance for explosives. But I don't know. <laughs> There's only three spaces in the very front. And then one in the second row. Second column. So, uh, okay, let's just go with the idea that we're going to... Um, you use all in enlightenment type plants basically like focus just on the enlightenment type plants do we have any attack plants that are that are not the toadstool i don't think we do what about the you know man this should be magnifying grass should be i would say so but whatever <laughs> um I'm sorry it's taking me so long just to scroll through this. I guess what I could do is I could, you know, go ahead and throw in... I mean, I don't know. I was thinking about going ahead and bringing in just like some other type of mint that will that will hurt them. Like bombardment. Let's rock. It'll be free, but let's, let's see what happens here. All right, so we gotta watch out here, right? That's what we want, right? Oh, those no—I thought those would just wait there. Oh well, that's okay. Man, the, the, but these things eat them, and they bring them oh, and they bring them into the red zone. That's why it's a problem. Okay. And they get burned. Oh, God. Yeah, this is bad news. But we're producing a lot of sun. That's that's good, kind of. I just, man, they bring him into the red zone. I totally forgot about that, that part of those. I don't like that. But if we're gonna do anything, let's just do it. Gosh dang, he burned two of them? I'm just really disappointed that they bring them into the red zone. That's something I totally forgot, totally didn't even consider when I, when I started thinking about doing this. Oh my god, look at all the sun. Okay, bombardment, whatever. There you go. I, I will try an explosive strategy. I'm gonna be lucky to beat my opponent here. Pull them all in. Pull them all in. There you go. Really, this is a bit of the saving grace is that we do have this a bunch of plant food here that we can just keep using. Please get the torch guy. Someone got the torch guy at least. So 200,000. It is what it is. Come on. Use it again. Come on. Yeah. Not a good strategy. I totally forgot that they would end up pulling them into the red section. I just so happen to be lucky to win that. So I do want to try an explosive strategy, I think. I don't know how effective it's going to be. It's going to probably require a lot. But let's just give it a shot. I mean, we, we just won our streak. It's reset back down, so let's just give it a shot. Let's see where we're at with that. If it's a good idea, it's a good idea. If not, it's not. But we'll find out <laughs> together. So, um, so we're taking a look at it. Okay, we got, okay, it's not that, not that, not that, not that. Okay, so we got, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Primal Pea Shooter, of course. M dupe, dupe imitated. Tile turnips. And that's all. This is going to be hard to pull off. I 
I'm actually really worried about this suddenly. Oh my god. I just realized how slow this actually reproduces. Oh my god. Lucky. Oh, I'm just gonna have to go for it, aren't I? Oh my god. Uh, hi. What the heck? That doesn't do it. Oh my god, this is terrible. I just realized how terrible this actually is. Okay. Oh my god. Whatever, dude. Here we go. What a what a rough start. Well, there we go. Getting some action there, I guess. We could really use some plant food here. What happens when we don't get plant food? What happens when we don't get plant food? <laughs> I didn't think this far ahead. We're doing terrible. There we go. There's some plant food. Perfect. We got plant food. Unleash the beasts. 30 seconds left. We're not going to beat. Well, maybe. Hold on. I don't think we will, but let's give it a shot. No, we're not going to win, but this is still... <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you know what? It, it's it's not it's never fun to lose, but I feel like if, if the round were a minute longer, then I would actually have the advantage. But no, it's just not not gonna work that way. So that person got with just bombardment, pretty much. He he did a, a oh, he, you know what? Bringing in bombardment was pretty pretty interesting there. I'm trying to figure out how I can make how I can actually make this work. And it seemed like I was on a good little thing. But let's see. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see what's going to happen. Um, let's try it again one more time. Bombardment's gonna be a good idea. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. You know what? Let's go with a different type of explosive strategy. We're gonna go with that and bombardment and uh And yeah, we'll 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 stick with primal potato mines. Sure, why not? Let's rock. This is gonna be interesting, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up a little uh a little group up front, and this should be fine. I think this is gonna be fine. And if anything gets out of hand, see, we're gonna have stuff like this. We're gonna have that there. Okay, that was maybe a mistake, but that's okay. Hold on, let's figure this out. What? They just tore that, oh my God, what? I didn't realize they would just do that to me. I didn't know they could just burn through those. Great. 
Of course it's gonna eat us, whatever. All right. No, he just burns through that. Gosh dang it. Here's, here's what we need, we need this. Okay. We need this to move around. We're lucky with these. Oh, that one's really strong, yikes. I'm gonna dig that one up and put a primal potato mine there. This one's slipping through again. Please don't burn that. Thank you. Now this is a, I think this is gonna be a losing strategy again. The unpredictability of this. Why are you exploding like over there? The enemies are over there. Look at this. That's what we want. Maybe we should just run in like a cherry bomb or something. That would have been better probably. So yeah, I, I just so happen to win this one. This is not a good strategy either. This is worse than the other strategy that I used. So it looks like for me, electricity is gonna be the key. So let's finish off with an, an electricity round just for fun. That was a bad strategy, don't use that strategy. Hey, we got some gems. 50 of them in fact. Okay, so here we go, electricity strategy. One more time just to show you how it's done. And I think this is gonna be good. We really need to focus on sun, though, at the beginning, so I don't know. How do we wanna pull this off? What am I missing? Not plant food. Oh, you know what? You know what would be good? Since we're not using cold snapdragon, we should imitate the gold bloom. That'll help on sun, right? Here we go. Here we go. This is gonna be a better strategy, I think. We start off with a lot of sun. Let's primarily focus on these uh, middle rows here. This is looking pretty good to me. Good, good, good. We're about to have double gold bloom again, so don't worry too much about the sun production aspect of this. There we go. Dude, that Yeti is just stomping through. What the heck? Oh my god. What happened to him walking backwards? He's just walking forward now. What the heck? I don't get the rewards from that. Alright, this is a little bit messier than I liked. I, I wasn't prepared for that, honestly.
Only 30 seconds left. This is not great. I mean, this is like worse. I mean, it's about the same, but man, those Yetis threw me off. I don't know what ha I don't. I don't really know what went wrong. Maybe the lack of cold Snapdragon did happen. Anyway, still, it's gonna be a winning strategy. I can hit 1.2 with it. Maybe I should do the cold Snapdragons for sure, especially since everything is slowed down by that. So, thank you so much for watching. I got four mints. There we go. I don't know what I'm gonna spend my money on. Maybe a bombardment or something. I know that I wanted more bombardment, but I don't know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Come back next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies 2. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other cool strategies. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.